Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dairy Raid, and today's part two of the our preview of the 2024 season, and we're going to be taking a look at the tight end room, and just like we talked about with the running backs and for the preview series in general, uh, we're going to look at the tight ends as if I was Nate Letton and I was in the the room. How would I be previewing my group? and finding where that they need to improve for us to perform at our peak efficiency once we get into the season. So if you're looking for discussion on depth chart, storylines, everything like that, you know who to look for. It certainly ain't me. Uh, I'm a football coach, and coaches look at this stuff from a more whole picture kind of deal because it's less about the individual it's more about the kind of the overall view of how we see a room that we built our our group so speaking from a fundamental point of view i th thought something that we really struggled with last year was just overall athleticism in the running back, or excuse me, in the tight end room. Um, outside of Tucker Ashcraft, who was a freshman, I, I think the you saw a room that was built to be um, extra tackles, as they were in the past with Wisconsin. So in order to improve fundamentally as a group, the, the the tight ends need to become more athletic. I think they've done so, one, with the addition of Jax McGowan and Grant Stack, Rob Booker. The guys coming in, and I wasn't going to talk no, necessarily about individuals, but one easy way that you improve at, uh, athleticism is you, you subtract one glorified tackle and you add some athletes. So what I what, what, when it comes to fundamentals, when I'm thinking about athleticism, I want to see quicker feet bursting better out of routes. Okay, I think we need to see more what we call step climbing in our routes, where we attack instead of straight laterally, straight out to the sideline. We're working. We get to our break point. We break downhill and to our target angle. What that does is it creates leverage just by the movement. Okay, you're you're allowing you're basically forcing the defender to take an extra step behind you, and you're creating space downhill away from that defender. That's going to create space, and hopefully, if we get better timing with the quarterbacks, that is going to lead to less situations where we feel like we didn't gain leverage. So from a fundamental uh, point of view, getting better at the top of the route to create space is going to be a huge improvement that we need to see that group make. When it comes to execution, there's still tight ends. There's still big bodies. So we've got to get better at winning routes and using size and strength to win routes. Uh, we saw that running mesh routes and sitting down last year where we get to the top of the route and our, a lot of our tight ends just didn't seem comfortable kind of sitting there and, and trying to create space for the ball. So we need to see the tight ends act a little bit more like power forwards and box out those linebackers and safeties and whoever are covering us and bodying those defenders to at least give the air that we can win one-on-one -on -one battles. More confidence in those situations. So if we have more confidence, you're going to see Tyler Van Dyke throw more balls into the tight ends in those kind of situations. And this is all going to lead to, from a tactical situation, we have got to use the tight ends more vertically. And we saw last year... We saw a lot of mesh routes, we saw a lot of curl routes, and we saw crossers, but we didn't see much 
straight vertical shots from the tight ends. Now, I'm not saying that our down the field passing game has to come through the tight ends. Quite the opposite. A vertical game for the tight end is hitting that area in the 7 to 12 yard to 15 yard range off the quick top of the drop kind of footwork from the quarterback. But if we have better athleticism and we can carry defenders more fluidly downfield, that again is going to expand the passing game in that it is going to force that upper half of the pass defense to cover more space. If we have tight ends who cannot press the defense vertically quickly enough and efficiently enough, then defenses can play with less players over the top. Basically, last year we saw majority cover one. And what that's going to do is just going to allow defenses to out-athlete us. We can't have that. We have to have tight ends who can push downfield and push the cap of the defense to force them to put other defenders on top of that. Getting defenses to play more cover three instead of cover one, cover four instead of cover two. And that is going to help the intermediate passing game, and it's going to help the short passing game. And again, create that three-layered effect that makes the air raid offense that much more efficient. So from a fundamentals point of view, our tight ends have to become better athletes and show better athleticism, quickness out of their breaks, burst off the line of scrimmage, aggressiveness out of the stance. Using that newfound athleticism, I want to see our tight ends get more physical at the top of their routes, creating space through movement, but also strength and be able to be that security in the intermediate game that allows us to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker in that portion of the passing game. And then using our ability to get downfield and our athleticism to create space up the seams to force defenses to play top down instead of in our face and just running with our players. I think we have the players in the room this year that can do it. McGowan obviously brings athleticism. Rob Booker to me is like a is a like a big receiver. Same with McGowan. Tucker Ashcraft did really well for a true freshman last year, and I think his game is going to expand. Riley Nokowski is a fullback, and I think we're going to see his role fit that more and be, being more like a fullback out on the wing and H back type. And we've got the young guys, Grant Stack, in there as well. He's that combination of the traditional Wisconsin size with ball skills and route running that are rare for a young guy. So it'll be interesting to see a younger, bigger, maybe faster Tucker Ashcraft in the room as well. So there's a little bit of, uh, of depth chart talk for you. But like I said before, Coaches are all about, okay, these are the guys I got. This is how we want to improve. This is how I want to utilize them. Don't just give me some guys. Give me my group, and I'll tell you how I can, how I can utilize them. I hope you all could, could hear, hear that. Got to love my neighbors. Uh, anyways, coaches are less about who's in the room, then this is what I've got. This is how that needs to get better so I can do what I want to do. All right, so before my neighbors start running up and down the street again, I think we're going to cut this one here. So thank you for watching. Next time up, we are going to take a look at the wide receiver room and how that groom can improve from, from a coach's point of view to take us to the next level. So... Until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.